Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're still on the groundbreaker but that's not gonna take too long because we're actually gonna drop by the Unreliable to have a little chat with both Ada and Parvati because Parvati wants to, you know, probably inform us what she's going to do about Junlei and Ada, we can actually talk to Ada to see about that SAM unit, that robot on board of the ship. So uh, let's do just that. So, Parvati, let's talk. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Uh, glad, glad to hear it. Did you talk to Junlei? I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, so... Not to ask for spoilers, but will we be drinking again tonight? Um, were there any fun ty funny typos? Hmm... Um, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Okay, so Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. You're welcome. That was cute. They're just so cute together. Okay, so that's finished then? Yeah, quest complete. Drinking sapphire wine? Completed! No big fancy noises for that one. Uh, unless we would have leveled up. But, Ada, let's talk about Sam. Ada and Sam. Welcome back, Captain. Hello. How can I be of assistance? Well, there's like this giant robot on the first floor of the ship. Um, do you know anything about the auto-mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. That... I mean... Hmm... That's weird, because I thought I read everything on that terminal, but uh, a distress call? Don't Thanks, remember this. Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death! Everywhere! Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For Lord's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help! What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay, so that sounds like a, 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 a cool new mission. So talk to you later, Ada. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Indeed, Ada, it, it does. I do like things that I have a lot of luck. Uh, especially in XCOM and stuff like that. But let's check out the terminal. So that's over here. Just to warn you, we may have a bed bug infestation. I am investigating non-toxic extermination measures. Non-toxic to you, I mean. Oh, I can actually sleep in the bed as well. Yeah, of course, because there's kind of like a survival uh, mode for this game as well. But, terminal. Messages for Sandra. What? From Tennyson? Junlei. Uh, okay. Uh, this, this seems to be a poem from Junlei to Parvati. How, how did Parvati forward me this? That's weird. Um, 
Let's check. I keep exiting the, the terminal. I don't want to do that. Um, first, Sam result. Experiment notes, blah, blah, blah. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance automat automechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap head during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running, but a few key modifications I can envision a combat-capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. A.H. Uh, I don't know who A.H. is. Um, removal of factory standard part S.U.D.S. Steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been delayed. Progress setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to, but I do. And then the third result, I'm giving hope, giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news, I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an asset steeper I can uh, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following the next pit stop, pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Of course, AH is Alex Hawthorne. Um, that was a bit dumb, but oh, there we go. <laughs> Skill points available. Um, so that also leads us to the Roseway. So I feel like... Our next stop should actually be just that, the Roseway. I'm just going to check my skill points. So I've added 3 to ranged, 2 to dialogue and 5 to stealth. Stealth specifically because that gets us to lockpick 40. And then we can find 25% more bits and containers. Since money is hard to come around, I feel like that's going to be the best thing. Because some things are actually really, really expensive. So let's just apply all of that. There we go. Uh, and I feel like Felix, did we actually give him a good weapon? I think we did, right? Yeah, so the toss ball stick is not going to be out damaged by anything else. And But otherwise, I think, yeah, he still has a perk available. I think I'll go for the bonus support persuade as well. So plus 10 persuade when Felix is on the squad. There we go. And let's apply that. Now, let's use the map navigator thingy to get away from the groundbreaker for now. And let's head to... So just check my quest log. The Roseway is actually located on Terra 2 as well. So where the Emerald Vale was too. So let's go to the Roseway landing pad on Terra 2. And now we get to the Roseway landing pad. I'm not actually sure if this is the same no guards, huh? open area like this place already. as before. Rather we can see Edgewater from here. But hmm... Seems pretty abandoned. I'm supposing that over there. Yeah, I can see the sign kind of. So Roseway. What's part of Auntie Cleo's... Oh, I'm sorry about that. That was the wrong button. Circle is stealth. So I don't really know what to expect here. Feels pretty abandoned for now. We're discovering all sorts of new locations. But yeah, this seems very quiet. Very ominously quiet. Purple berry bunch. I should really check into those uh, food items because I'm gathering up a lot of them. And I never really use them. Maybe except for selling a few things. But uh, is this thing alive? Okay. No, that's the sprats. This is really ominous. Oh. Yeah, that's a great sign. The first thing we come across... Something bit them. Something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. More teeth than is strictly necessary. Advanced defensive helmet and elite troop armor. Block plus five, but stealth skills minus five. It's heavy armor. Maybe I can give that to one of them. Although Felix does seem like he's already wearing that. So the armor is 26. And the one I'm currently wearing is nine with five lock picking. So I think the helmet would look nice on me um and my other armor is just yeah it's gonna reduce the stealth i have so not a problem just yet but maybe someone well someone in our squad really needs that sneak plus seven 
the lockpick plus five, so that's fine. But maybe Parvati, because she's already wearing heavy armor. I might as well give her the better heavy armor then. There we go. Look at that. Seems like she's properly protected now. I can probably just... Um, can I? I think I can dismantle that, right? Maybe I can only dismantle that from my inventory. So, that's that. Felix got a... Um, Parvati got a bit of an armor upgrade. And I got a helmet upgrade, which is also very nice. Um... I'm wondering, I see on the D-pad that there's now like two abilities, kind of. I'm assuming that they're the abilities from Parvati and Felix. I'm just going to run because this seems a bit over the top to just start sneaking because I don't know what I'm dealing with. That thing still seems to be alive. It's like a forklift. Please, clear, 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 clear the roadway. Ob obst obst obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than 10, 10, 10 okay so the robot is barely still functioning um i can actually pick this thing let's check in here i'm assuming there's not going to be anything oh wow what the hell happened here uh weapon parts armor parts Ooh, just a bit of ammo for everything that's nice and a bed so if we would need to we could sleep here but we don't really need to. There's multiple houses on the side here as well. Might as well check those out first. Heads up! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I must have just stood right next to these things. I think that was it. Totally crap. Spitters. Um, Parvati is still poisoned. If I... Huff, will she be healing as well? I'm not exactly sure. She kind of took a stalker, a rapidon stalker. She took a severe hit there, but uh, raptidon, raptidons, those are raptidons. They are freaking scary looking. Look at that. And they don't have any loot, that's sad as well. But inside of here, should keep an eye out for monsters. I probably stood on his head before that. A level 9 auto mag pistol. Might as well check that out. Seems like a pretty high damage output. And there's this thingy over here. An old journal. Dad, I'm writing this on the old that you found your way back here. I'm sorry I wasn't there to see you. They're moving us out of town. All of us. I don't know where we're going. Hoping that wherever it is, they've got a lab as nice as Roseways. Where we were doing some good work. Real science for once. I don't know why they're moving us. And I don't know when we'll see each other again. And Dad, do me a favor and burn this journal. I'm not allowed to even mention the name Roseway. Far as corporate's concerned, this town never existed. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. So, something definitely happened here. There were... Um, wait, is that another... That's two pistols. That's probably not good. But they were evacuating the town for some reason. For now, everybody... Okay, no. I was going to say everybody who's dead is uh, security personnel, but this seems to be not the case. So this is the auto pistol. Might want to try this a little bit. Seems pretty uh, pretty low level. But 180 DPS is actually not bad. Supposed to be worse than my plasma rifle, but I feel like the plasma rifle is mis uh, misrepresented. Um... So we'll see how this how this fares. I want to try most of the weapons out before we do anything else. Um, there's definitely some screaming over there. There's creatures walking around, but let's see. So we did just check the side area, the side street. So let's get back to Main Street where the robot is. He's stuck on a raptidol mauler. I didn't do anything, loader. Don't don't. Take my money, please. Uh, this is not good. There's another assault rifle here and a low-level plasma. Oh, I'm just jumping for joy. Um, and some bits. Aha, wait. This door also seems to be openable, but... Is that just a mushroom? That is just a mushroom. There is something over there, though. So there's cannons over there. Maybe I should just take it out before I... Uh, do anything wrong. There we go. I'm ready for this. That had to hurt. And there's a mongrel left. 
I think I hit one of my companions there. And there we go. Yeah. Now that was fun. So they're all dead. And they were eating some scientists apparently. Yeah, because I know the, the outfits by now. So those are scientists. Where's the alpha that I killed? Is this, is this the alpha? Yeah. And the howler. So those are just both ash piles at the moment. But. But, but, but. That's just to clear the area out a bit. Because there's another door here. And I can pick this without using any mag picks. Hello. Pick up snake skin. That's a bit weird, but okay. Um, there is another terminal here. So let's check the messages first. From administration. Wait, who was this from? Property of Auntie Cleo. Okay, nothing interesting then. Um, from administration to B. Martin. Dear sir or madam, so this is just the... Yeah, the... the Evacuation notice. Yeah, so this is just talking about the relocation. Um, but there are personal files here. All personal files have been purged from the terminal memory. Please be informed that all data and information stored in Roseway Laboratory and Outpost Terminals are the property of Auntie Cleo. Okay. So again, they evacuated everybody. We still don't know why. But uh, we're getting closer to the facility itself. And I'm assuming they, they must have left at least something there. There seems to be a lot more dead animals right in front of the door there. A lot more dead scientists. Yeah, mostly scientists actually. Ooh. Precision spectrum magnification monolens. Engineering plus five. That's probably just a headgear. Not sure if I can just equip that on top of my helmet since it's just like a, a piece of glass in front of my face. But uh, otherwise, I think we need to, to enter this area because there doesn't seem to be anything else aside from the raptors that killed everybody. Um, let's go in. Okay, so we're spawning in and somebody called Berg seems to be still alive. But he doesn't seem or she doesn't seem like they're, uh, well, supposed to be here. But let's, let's have a little chat with Berg. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Okay, what happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Okay, um, you said the raps broke loose. Um, forget I said anything about that. Well, you, you did say something. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Okay, but that was one of the three people we needed to get out of the place, but what were you doing outside? What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Well, yeah, but you don't seem to be able to tell me much. Distress call. From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Okay. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look around. Oh, before I forget, Auntie Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals oh, in health. Dude, don't bother. Better it. than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice petals. Okay, so everybody's brainwashed to talk about their own corporation constantly. Got it. Got it. More raptor molars all over the place. But for now, this place seems to be pretty clear. Uh, they say that Anton was freaking out in the communication center. The communicoms. That's probably it. The Roseway communication room. Let's go have a little chat with Anton. Hello, Anton. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Wait. Um, so he's the guy that sent the stress call, because I, I recognize him from the video. Um, attack right the first time I'm here to end your life. Uh, okay. You must be Anton Craig. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Okay, 
That what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded by raptodons. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. Okay. Let's hear him out before judging him. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. Okay. Um, what are you researching? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of, of the course. work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Are you working by yourself? More often than not. Seems I'm the only one who sees the opportunity here. Okay, and that might be what? A ticket to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates here. Okay, I don't like Anton Crane. Um, yeah, I think you'd be begging for someone's help. And might you be the sort of person who's uh, not averse to risking your life if the pay were right? Uh, sure. Um, depends on what you need from me. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. No, because the board probably does. Let's persuade him a little bit. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make the situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. That was a big secret. D dental gel. It, this is all about toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Sh sh sure. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. So you don't want to eat because of the toothpaste. Um, okay. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Wouldn't people die from that? Um, say no more, I'll remove the cretins and retrieve your research. Yes. Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Jameson? Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors. And I forgot him. Okay. You left him to die should be ashamed of yourself. Don't you think it weighs on me? He was my responsibility. All of them were. Are. Regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name. And far too much paperwork. I should put Anton out of his misery, by the way. Don't like you much, but I'll look into this further and decide what to do. Um, yeah, let's. I'll, I'll find him. Okay, I should shoot this guy, by the way. So we unlocked another quest by his bootstraps to rescue Jameson. Great, 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 great. Things are opening up a little bit on the roseway. Well, I, I say on the roseway like it's uh, some sort of ship, but it clearly isn't. Um, is there anything I can do here? Any terminals I can check? Doesn't seem like I can check anything here. So, it's an opening in the hill. I need to change my active quest, I think. Okay, so the raptodons were the creatures that they were experimenting on. And for some reason, there's also chickens running around the place. Okay. Um, and that is supposed to be over, well, outside probably. This yeah. guy cares more about his research than his own people. Yeah, I know Felix, but at least he's gonna pay us. We can shoot him afterwards if you want to. And then there's the luxury apartments. Would I be able to actually go around here? What's this? Wanted. Phineas V. Wells. For sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, and destruction of board property. So nothing bad. Nothing bad. They're not... Uh, accusing him of murder or anything like that, so he's just... Huh. 
Anton Slap keycard. I can open this up and take a look around. I could steal a bunch of stuff, but let's use the terminal. Security lockdown, all personnel, please report to assigned workstations. Hmm, report suspicious activity to the nearest site safety engineer, but they are personal files. I feel quite alone. Jameson's the only one here worth anything at all, but even he bristles at my direction. This is quite likely a natural reaction to my pushing him so relentlessly, but if he ever hopes to reach Byzantium, he needs someone applying the correct amount of pressure. I hope he'll come to see the truth, but should that prove impossible, I can at least ensure his work doesn't damage my chances. I shall be keeping an eye on his reports to see if they too warrant revision. I can't abide any more demerits against us. And then journal entry 2. Heard Jameson talking to Falm today. He was railing against me, claiming I'm using him and everyone here for my own ends. I'd expect vitriol from that lazy sold Vaughn, but Jameson, how can he not see that I have only his best interests at heart? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. My unrelenting drive has always set all this against me. With the latest breakthrough, I believe Byzantium is finally within my grasp. My next promotion will deliver me, I'm certain, so long as they don't see through my attempts to cover for the rest of these fools. I can't quite shake this unease I seem to be gripped by. This makes no sense. While I have yet to get Trammel to commit to a specific date, he assures me Byzantium should be a mere few weeks away. So why this encroaching feeling of emptiness? Must be a case of the nerves. I know I'll be accepted and, dare I say, possibly even revered when I finally arrive. Okay, so he has a bit of a gold complex. And yeah, he's just batshit crazy and megalomaniac. Uh, so let's pick this thing. Um, is anybody watching me? I don't think they are. So let's just grab his money. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab his money. I don't like the guy, so might as well get his money out of his uh, apartment. If he just gave me the key, why not, they? Eh? Um, so that's that vending machine and workbench. That's extra experience for me as well. And let's go back down, because there were two more apartments over there. These ones are actually open by themselves. But it still counts as stealing if you want to steal something. I'm just going to take the Mac picks. Because, you know... If I want to break into any place, then uh, might as well have the lockpicks for it. So nothing else in there, although there is another door at the end here, but that might... Ooh. Fall. Okay, that's the guy that uh, Jameson was complaining to. So let's see if he knows anything else. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Um, so where were you when the outlaws attacked? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. He's clearly scared, but uh, no jobs worth dying for. Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? It seems like everybody here is an asshole, but... Let's press him for details. I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have... Um... Benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to... Um, enhance your charisma. Okay... Um, you're gonna have to be more specific. Some people say rap musk makes it easier to attract companionship. Makes you more, uh, appealing. Sexual hormones. Got it. Um, it's an aphrodisiac. Does it work? The results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Okay. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab. The one past that, built into the mountainside. Okay, I need to go there anyway, so, uh, Anton told me about the other lab. Uh, don't mention this to Anton, okay? He's kind of a tight ass about the lab. Like, squeeze coal into diamond tight. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. 
Okay, everybody is really, really being very mysterious about this lab, so I'm really curious to go there. Um, I'll head up there and keep an eye out. Great! <sighs> this is really gonna save my ass. The Amateur Alchemist. Okay. Um, that means we should be fine, because everybody else here is unmarked, so I'm assuming I, I don't really confused. need to talk to these guys. Like perfume. I I'm not interested, just curious. Okay. Don't know what she's talking about. Is that supposed to be the living quarters? It seemed about as livable as a coffin. So the one last thing over here is the bar. And that is... Okay, I'm just walking around apparently. Just a scientist and a corporate technician. But the bar. Della Jennings. She might, she might be able to tell us something. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's going to tell you to make tracks. Want to treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I could sell her a few things, but uh, you seem eager to get rid of me. I don't really know you. Roseway is supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Good thinking, Della, so let's trade. She doesn't really sell anything interesting, so that's that. And with that, oh, cold. Uh, lab protective monocle. Yeah, these guys are all dead. Shouldn't you need to, I mean, clean up the corpses a little bit? Because this looks terrible. But with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Outer Worlds. And next time, we're going to head to that uh, very mysterious lab. So thanks again, enormously for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Goodbye.